All right, the Nutty Professor sells cashews for six ninety a pound and Brazil nuts for four twenty a pound. How much should he, or how much of each type should he, uh, should be used to make twenty nine pound mixture that sells for five forty one per pound? All right, so I like to use a table to organize everything. So we have the uh, more expensive uh, cashews and we have the cheap cashews and we have their price per pound, the number of pounds, and then that will give us the total. And then we also have the total, or the mixture I should call it. Uh, so the mix of the cheap and the expensive. So the expensive ones are six ninety a pound. Cheap mm -hmm. ones are four twenty a pound. And the mixture is gonna sell for five forty one per pound. Now the the number of pounds uh, all we know about that is we want a total of twenty nine pounds. So uh, we don't know how much uh, of the expensive ones we have, we'll call it X. We don't know how much of the cheap ones we have, we'll call that Y. But if I multiply the number of pounds um, by the price per pound, then I'll get the total. So this will be 6.9X and this will be 4.2Y. And then if I multiply 541, the price of the mixture, times the 29 pounds that we're going to have, um, I get 156.89. So now I have enough with these two columns uh, that I can make a system of equations, a two by two system. So that'll look like um, x plus y equals 29 and 6.9x plus 4.2y equals 156.89. If I take the top equation and I solve it for y, then I get y equals 29 minus x. If I plug that in for the y here, I get 6.9x plus 4.2 times 29 minus x equals 156.89. So once I solve that equation, I'll know how many pounds of the, uh, so x is the expensive cashew, I'll know how many pounds of the expensive cashew I need, and from there I can subtract to get the number of pounds of cheap. So solving this, 6.9x, uh, I need to multiply or distribute that 4.2. So 4.2 times 29, 121.8. And then 4.2 times negative x is negative 4.2x equals 156.89. I can combine the two x's on the left side. So 6.9 minus 4.2 is 2.7x. And then I want to subtract 121.8 on each side. That gives me 35.09, um, and so I get 2.7x equals 35.09, and if I divide that by 2.7, I get x. Now it says round to the nearest pound. Um, when I do this division here, I get that x is 12.996. Well, that's pretty much 13 pounds. So if I need 13 pounds of the expensive, then 29 subtract 13 will give me the number of cheap. Uh, so that's going to be 16 pounds of the cheap. And that's it.